Hey guys, so the Android 8.1 update for the Nokia 6 2018 is practically here and I must say that Nokia is really doing an incredible job in providing the latest software updates and the security patches to all the Nokia smartphones. And definitely they are charging way more than other brands for the smartphones but at the same time they are giving you guys the latest updates which I think you all wanted. And if I was you. Tired of waiting for the latest updates, I will definitely go for any mid-range Nokia smartphone. So yeah, I just received official 8.1 Oreo on my Nokia 6 2018 and this update has a version number of 2.13B and weights around 800 MB. And the fishy thing I noticed is that it automatically downloaded the software update without even asking me whether or not I want to download this update. So. So first of the booting time is a little bit faster as compared to the previous 8.0 update and since the smartphone is still on Oreo you won't notice any major visual changes. And I must say that this thing is fast and smooth and definitely I have seen improvement in the performance and battery life of this smartphone after the 8.1 Oreo. And apart from the speed we have new power menu and moreover my favorite feature is that you can actually enable the dark mode at least for the quick setting tiles and app shortcuts menu just by changing the wallpaper. And yeah we also have the picture in picture mode which you can use with a few applications and also while watching online videos. Of course I am not going deep into the specific android 8.1 features now I will show you what Nokia has added with this update. First off Nokia has added a new camera feature where you can toggle the camera shutter to open the advanced mode and you can also toggle it down to close it and open another mode and toggle it down again to use the camera normally. And you guys were asking if Nokia has added EIS or not. The answer is no Nokia hasn't added electronic image stabilization with this update and I really really hope in future Nokia adds EIS to the Nokia 6 2018 cause the only feature that Nokia 6 2018 misses in the video shooting performance is the lack of stabilization. Of course they cannot add OIS and it is definitely hardware specific but at least Nokia you still can implement EIS to the camera application. And another thing that Nokia has changed is the navigation bar. It is now a little bit thin as compared to the thick one in the previous software and it may be a very small feature for you guys but it was definitely a needed feature. Since we don't have 18 is to 9 screen, this navigation bar now takes almost 5% of the place. Previously it was taking 6 to 7% of the space. So these minor changes are definitely worth it guys. Another change is in the launcher. It is now fully transparent. Previously the app drawer was white. Now it is full transparent which actually looks so great and Nokia is really doing a great job in updating their launchers and other applications when I have seen other brands implementing the same launcher again and again in their latest updates. So well done Nokia. Also apart from these minor and major changes Nokia has also implemented the latest April 2018 security patch which is something really impressive. I think right now only a few brands have updated their smartphones to the latest April 2018 security patch and this thing is really needed guys. The reason why Google is providing the monthly security patches is because to improve the security and stability of a smartphone so definitely a great move by Nokia. So these are all the changes I have noticed till now and again Nokia is really doing an amazing job in terms of software updates and in case you don't know Nokia has confirmed that they will be updating all the Nokia smartphones to Android P which Google will release by October 2018 and I think Nokia smartphones will get it by early 2019 or maybe by the end of 2018. I don't know. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.